Hey folks, it's Boba the Vulture again, and it's still hot. It's still Castle of the Winds, and it's still town. I left Roggenwald's outfitter so that I could save, but don't worry, you didn't miss any of the exciting commerce action other than that. Let's go into Sverting's armor shop and sell some armor. Because, you know, that's what happens in the armor shop. Yeah, buddy. Hmm, an enchanted suit of chainmail. That's kind of tempting. Actually, I have a suit of ringmail here. Why the heck am I wearing that instead of studly leather armor? For that matter, why haven't I identified this suit of ringmail? Is it a normal suit of ringmail? Ah. <sighs> uh, is it because this is... I bet it's because this was not in my regular pack. That's why it didn't appear as an item that I could identify. Suit of ringmail? You're a normal suit of ringmail. So, enchanted suit of ringmail, that's pretty good. Enchanted suit of chainmail, that's wonderful. But, uh, or I guess chainmail. No, I'm not gonna, yeah, be some other dude. Alright, got a suit of ringmail, that's not bad. Let's, uh, let's look at this. Gauntlets, will you buy my gauntlets? Will you pimp my ride? This guy probably won't pimp my ride. Probably won't buy that weapon either. Probably won't buy any of this stuff. Wait, I had another purse. Did the purse have money? The purse didn't have money. I should have sold that purse. Will you take the purse? Okay, fine. You know, I'm not going back to the outfitters though for it because since it's less than worth less than 25 copper points, copper pieces, cup, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter because um. Ooh, a club. Here. Yeah. Enchanted daggers. What other weapons do you have? Enchanted hand axe. Enchanted axe. Enchanted mace. Eh, my enchanted broadsword is plenty good compared to all of those things. Mace. Alright. Um, let's go sell our junk. <laughs> I said we would sell our junk. Okay, distillation of water, necklace of adornment. <laughs> All right, that's gone. Rusty bracers, a ripped cloak, a cursed pendant. Yeah, let's close that medium pack too. That's right. He'll offer me the same amount for either of those. All right. Now we're going to go back to the outfitters because I think I need to sell one of these containers. It's just a matter of which. Offer 90 for that. For 30 for that. Take that pack. What's gotten into that pack? Let's see. Yes, you have small packs, small packs, and medium packs. And uh, let's go ahead and use that scroll of summon monster and summon a monster. You all said I was a fool. I'll show you who the fool is. I'll unleash a monster in town. A menacing large snake that misses me and so it bites me. It gives me a little nibble to let me know that uh, it appreciates my company. I don't know. Don't ask me. Elixir of Heal Minor Wounds. Yeah, let me look at what's on my slotted belts. I have a lot of uh, elixirs of heal, minor wounds, and heal medium wounds. I should put this elixir of heal, medium wounds, higher up on the hierarchy of belt slots. That's minor, right? And that is also minor? Yes. They're all fairly minor. But yes, so now, at any time, I can activate an Elixir of Heal Medium Wounds, or an Essence of Lesser Restore Mana. Not enough mana! Let's go to sleep. Yeah! Sleep! Awesome! Let's deposit our money in the bank. We got money in the bank. What you think about that? I should save the game. Um, to do, do, let's save as Bobo One Quug. Yes. And now that we've had the excitement of town, let's go back. 
back into the Fortress of Fear. Oh wait, the Fortress of Fear, that was... Was that one of the... Wizards and Warriors games? Was, that called like the, was one of those called the Fortress of Fear? Was there a level in one called the Fortress of Fear? I feel like the Fortress of Fear was somehow a fixture of... That whole universe. But, uh, you know... I only ever played the first one fairly often, the second one once, and I think the third one, like, you know, years later, on an emulator. Um, so yeah, uh, but no, the first one we actually, yeah, I got on the first one. Um, interesting little game. Hey there, wild dog. Hey there, goblin fighter. You guys missed me, huh? Let's go down some more. Now where are we? Uh, is that a glyph or is that the staircase? That is the dungeon floor. Oh, it's strange runes. Uh, stairs down are there, I guess. Yeah. Let's go for them. Make a run for it. Ah! Taste my steel, goblin. So, did you like it? Was it tasty steel? Let's rest. Let's save. Let's go down another floor. Because you never know when some kind of crazy monster will show up. Some kind of crazy monster I've never encountered before, or have encountered before, and is a gelatinous cube. Whoa! -hoo! See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You just wandered around thinking, oh, well, you know, I've cleared out this floor, so nothing bad's going to happen here. Oh, but look at that. Loving that. Loving the splash damage. Splash. You guys are all going to be dead by the time you get here. Well, okay, you're not, so i got to hit you with a magic arrow. Oh, you're going to tailspine me? No. Tailspine tailspine and none of them gave me treasure you jerks I want treasure I want a treasure alright well there's no safer place to uh, sleep and restore your mana than in the chamber of spiders so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna sleep we're gonna get some mana back yo goblin <laughs> you crazy goblin alright and we did. We recovered our mana. Time to go down another floor. This will be a floor of mystery. A floor of future. A floor of mystery. Or I guess destiny. I don't know. Anybody who's seen the movie You're the Hunter of the Future? Maybe they can uh, help me out with the lyrics. Maybe it is destiny. Maybe it is mystery. It's difficult to tell when you're not entirely certain that the people singing the song, or for that matter anybody involved in the movie, had English as their first language. Which is, you know, I suppose a very terrible thing to me to say because the only other language I can speak a wit of is French, and my French is absolutely atrocious, and I would not be able to carry on a conversation with a French speaker. If I did, it would probably cause the French person's ears to bleed, or, you know, the, the Quebecois, or the resident of um, Ivory Coast, or... I don't know, whatever the place, you know, where there's uh, somebody who's speaking French. Uh, Louisiana. I mean, <laughs> anyways, walking corpse. Woo! People. F gruesome troll. Wow, the gruesome troll hit me pretty hard. Let's heal up and hope the gruesome troll. Yeah, okay. Gruesome troll. You can't do that to me, gruesome troll. I will hit you. Alright, walking corpse, come on up. Okay, so, uh, looks like there's gonna be some enemies in here. Perhaps I should waste the one point of magic and explore this area. Hey, it's a room. Illuminate the room. Fine, don't illuminate the room. See if I care. Anyhow, next time we'll continue exploring this exciting new floor. 
And uh, until then, I am Boa the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Castle of the Winds. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.